I've noticed a trend in recent years. This trend is people show up to the table to a new campaign with their characters already made. That means that people are going off on their own and making their characters on their own and expecting them to be able to fit into whatever campaign you show up to. I truly believe that that is a incorrect way to approach things. I believe that we should make our PCs together at the table. Now when we make our PCs together at the table, this could be that session zero, this could be after the session zero but before session one, whatever the case may be, making our PCs together, not only with the player and the GM, but more importantly all the players together, you can share the backstory. You can all come up with elaborate fun ideas and you guys can all riff off one another. Sharing in that backstory is going to lead to fantastic adventures later on because your character is going to be privy to the knowledge of the campaign. When people show up to the table with their own made characters, they have no knowledge of what the campaign is actually going to be. It's just that they are front loaded with a whole bunch of knowledge. That character is loaded up with a whole bunch of backstory, but that backstory might not pertain to the actual adventure at hand. And more importantly, this might not pertain to the other players, which is not good. This is a team based game. This is a group game. Everyone needs to come together. No more overlap. If I show up to the table and I say, oh, I've got this great idea for a character. They're going to be a bard that has these spells and they do these things with this flavor. There is the chance that you show up to the table and someone else has the same or similar concept. That always sucks. Then you get into that scenario of, oh, we're both wearing the same thing. Is one of us going to have to change? You know, that's not always a great time. Maybe it is cool if you both show up and you have same or similar concepts. You know, maybe that actually works for you. But if you don't want that overlap, then guess what? You don't get that overlap if you're making those pieces together. You can absolutely guarantee that no one is going to be stepping on anybody's toes. Everyone being on the same page is going to lead to better adventures. It is going to make sure that everybody, absolutely everybody, knows what's going on with everybody's background and also importantly what's going on with the adventure. Once everyone is clued into what's going on, then you can work together, not have this sort of frictional motion of, oh, I'm trying to do my own thing because of my elaborate backstory, because I have something to do, because of my so-and-so. Instead of me, me, me's, I, I's, it's we's, it's us. This is a group game. Make it a group game. Now, of course, if you want to, you can still have your player character secrets. That can be a ton of fun. The DM can express that, hey, actually all of you are going to get a secret and I'm going to take you one-on-one -on -one, and we're going to figure out what's going on with that. And that is a fun time because that way all the players know that there's something going on behind the scenes, but don't let it lead into any metagaming. It's just that your character has something going on with their own personal background, and maybe later on, throughout the course of the campaign, you discover, oh, someone else has something dark and mysterious going on with them. Now, it doesn't need to be the DM directing all of the effort. The players should be hopping in too. Maybe you can have a fun little popcorn where one player says, hey, it'd be cool if your character did this, and if my character did that, and that's how we know each other. Oh, that's awesome. And then another player could say, oh, hey, maybe my character actually was frenemies with you for a long time, but now we're best of buds. Or maybe this is our coming together. You know, having that player autonomy in creating the group and actually creating the adventuring party is a fantastic way to get the party started because it does always feel a bit too gamey if the DM says, you have to all be this, you are all absolutely from here. Having it be the players decide how the group comes together, how they all know each other, and then expanding upon those relationships is a fantastic thing to do. When it comes to creating player characters, I wholly subscribe to the idea that you should not be showing up to the table with your own preconceived notions. You should be showing up to the table and be reactive and proactive with everyone else. You should be working alongside everyone, all of the other players, and the DM to make a character that fits well for the campaign. Not bringing a character to the campaign and expecting everyone else to have it fit with them. Making PCs together is going to be a ton of fun. This can be the session zero, the session 0 0.5, whatever you want to call it. That can be an absolute fun time because then you get to see where everyone's going to take their characters, what's going on, and you get little hints and ideas on what's going on in the campaign. 
and then it fully comes to fruition. It is an absolute great time, and I cannot stress enough how great it is to make this an us game, to make it a we game, not a me and I game. So go ahead and tell me, do you find that a lot of players show up to the table with their own pre-made characters? Or do people like to consult you about making their characters? Are you okay with character overlap where you have the same classes and the same ideas and all that? Or do you prefer that everyone is their own thing? And do you like to slip in player character secrets? Or do you like everything out on the table? Go ahead and tell me those things because I would love to hear it. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.